Post sprint processing. Once printing is done, open the lid and carefully remove any excess liquid on the printing plate with the plastic brush. Be careful to ensure the liquid falls inside the resin tank, as it could otherwise fall in the space between the tank and the printer and damage the lens. Remove the printing plate and utilizing a metal spatula, separate the printed object from the printing plate. It's important you do so carefully to avoid scratching the printing plate as much as possible. Once separated, cut the supports off the denture base by using clippers. The easiest way to do this is to work your way around the external supports and then carefully breaking the base off to expose the internal supports. Leave the denture bases soaking on isopropyl alcohol for 5 minutes and clean them with a brush and then rinse them with water. Try to remove as much of the printing material residue as possible. The bases should become less sticky as you progress in cleaning them. Repeat the same steps with the teeth, being careful not to damage the teeth as the supports will be very close to the neck. Proceed to leave them on IPA and clean them with a toothbrush and water. Remove any excess supports from the base of the teeth and the denture intaglio with a slow speed handpiece and an acrylic burr. Make sure to pay special attention to the neck of the teeth as they have to connect smoothly into the denture base sockets. Once finished, wash everything one more time with IPA and dry with an air blower, then prepare for bonding. Clean the build plate ensuring to remove any polymerized material that may be locked between plate walls and rinse it up with IPA, then dry it up. The better you take care of your plates, the longer their life will be.
Place the excess denture base and tooth material to containers that block out light so they can be reused for another print. The material can be reused two to three times before disposing. It's recommended to filter the material to remove any polymerized residues that may be in the liquid prior to storing and cleaning the resin tank with IPA. Curing and post-curing. Pour some of the base material in a container and apply the same color denture base material to the tooth sockets in the denture base, making sure it's evenly spread as you work through the sockets. Set the teeth over the denture base, then one by one bond them with a curing light for 20 seconds. Make sure to remove any material excess prior to curing. Utilizing the printing liquid and a micro brush, build up the interdental papillas to make the denture more aesthetic and create a continuity effect between the base and the teeth. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the teeth. Once finished with the posterior teeth, make one occlusion check and proceed to bond the anterior teeth.
Once finalized, make a final occlusion check and store the remaining material as directed before. For post gearing, submerge the dentures in glycerine. Make sure the dentures stay fully submerged by placing a glass slab on top. Place them in the curing unit for 20 minutes and then, with a set of pliers, flip them around and leave them for another 20 minutes. Be careful when doing this as the glycerine will be hot. Please note curing times may vary depending on your curing unit's brand and model. Once done, wash the dentures. They should look like this.